Hello guys and welcome. Today I will turn you into Minecraft millionaires. Yes, you've heard right. I will make your pockets rich with emeralds. And let me show you today two really efficient methods of getting emeralds. And as you guys can see, I have a full diamonds armor. Like... It's so cool. You can even get like cool weapons and stuff. Like it's really good to have a lot of emeralds because of the trading you can do with villagers. And you have infinite amounts of emerald. What happened here? Uh, yeah, so this is my giant uh, bee farm. And like stuff is just growing here so fast. And it's like regrowing instantly. So we are going to farm all of this. And then I will show you how many emeralds we can get with a huge farm. And I will also give you a second uh, method of farming. And we're going to compare those two and see which one gives the most emeralds. And yeah, whew, there's much work that needs to be done. And we're going to be rich by the end of this video. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's pretty empty now there. I farmed absolutely everything. Yeah, so beetroot regrew, but that's because the bees keep pollinating. That's why I'm using bees here to, for the farm to speed things up. And wow, yeah, our inventory is now full. So, oh, there's a creeper. Oh, no, oh no. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So, yeah, the inventory is full here. You guys can see it. We got like a lot of crops, so much vegetables. Like, this must be the paradise for a vegan. <laughs> Alright, where are the farmers? Oh, there they are. I found you guys. Let's do some trading. Let's see how many emeralds we can get from this. Okay, let's get some potatoes. Oh, nice. Wow, we already have six emeralds. That goes quick, right? That's also very, very fast. Wow. Already ten? There we go. Okay, let's trade with the others. Because they only will offer like two uh, offers. Okay, here we have beetroot. Let's get some beetroot. Nice. And we already have 24 emeralds. Not bad. That's quite a lot, right? Wait, what happened to the old farmer? There was one that had wheat. Let me reset this one. That's so weird. Did this one die? No wheat? Okay, let me reset you once more. Maybe now he has wheat. Please, please, please. Please take the, the right offer. <gasps> Finally, let's do this. Oh, nice. Wow, that's actually quite a lot, right? We got 26 emeralds. That is great. But guess what? There's also another method, and we're comparing now too. And we'll select the winner. I already know which one will win, but I want to demonstrate this. So, yeah, let's change locations. Okay, here we are now in the snowy, snowy tundra. And I'm about to cut down three giant spruce trees. And I will turn those into sticks and sell them to the Fletcher. And, oh wow. As you guys can see, the inventory is almost empty. I mean, I have one stack of, of spruce logs. So we have to do minus one stack later. Because I didn't sort this out. But, yeah. Let's cut this down. It's actually so easy to grow those giant spruce trees. You just need four saplings and put them in a in a square together. Oh wow. We're gonna have like a lot of emeralds after this. The emeralds are so useful. Okay, so we cut down everything and the time it takes for those trees to regrow and to be cut down is the same as it takes for, for this uh, bee farm to regrow everything. So, I have like four plus stacks of logs now. We're going to Fletcher. So, here's one Fletcher and there should be two in the snowy tundra castle. So, let's get, let's get in there and let's go to the two Fletchers. And then we're going to convert those logs into sticks. Here they are. Oh, that's perfect. Let's get some sticks. And we have zero emeralds as well as you guys can see. So there's no cheating here. And we're really gonna look for the difference. And oh wow. I don't want to spoil it too much. But you guys are gonna be surprised in a moment. Like look at this. We already had 10 emeralds. Look how fast that is. That is insane. Already 14. Like, we're getting rich here. This is like... That's crazy. We still got like so many more left. <laughs> okay. 
Let's find uh, more Fletchers. There's another Fletcher somewhere. Is it that one? Oh yeah, it's that one. Because I was trading so much, it even makes me now a special offer. That is so, so nice of you. <laughs> you take 31 sticks in instead of 32 for an emerald. That's great. Oh wow, we've already beaten the first farm. We have 30 emeralds now. That's crazy. <laughs> 32 emeralds! We are getting rich in here! Like seriously. Let's go to the other Fletcher since they are both sold out. So we have already beaten the first farm as you guys can see. The wood, the tree farm is actually way faster in, in combination with those Fletchers and you get like so many emeralds. You can instantly master level up uh, all your, your villagers that have like offers and you can get the best uh, thingies. Oh wow, look at this one. Ooh, let's get some more. Let's convert this. Okay, we got a lot of sticks again. Let's find the Fletcher again. Where is he? Okay, it's almost getting dark. We need to be quick. Okay, there's one. Wait, where's another one? I thought there was only one. Never mind. Let's just trade. Ooh, we're getting rich here. This is insane. Did you guys see that? We're already 46, 48, 50. That is insane. Where's the other one? And we still have uh, more than one stack uh, left of spruce logs. We still have like one stack and 43, right? Okay, where's the where's the Fletcher? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm freaking out. I need those emeralds. Okay, there you are. Let's do it. Let's do some good trading. Whoo! We get a, a full stack. Oh, <laughs> fully stacked emeralds. Fully stacked emeralds. That is crazy. And we still got 43 left. And yet, yeah, minus this one because I had this one already. <gasps> we have a full stack of emeralds. And the farm only gave us 26 emeralds. So the clear winner is the tree farm in combination with the Fletchers. And don't worry about access. You can buy them for, I think it's like three emeralds from um, a weaponsmith. Or you can just go with stone ones. So. And now let me show you the, the, the benefit of being rich with emeralds. You can actually have an infinite amount of diamond armor and you even get enchanted armor. Like look at this. If you level them up, they sell diamond armor. And that's why I have a full set of diamond armor. And this is way faster than farming for diamonds. If you're digging for days and hours uh, in the underground, yeah, you get like 2-3 armor pieces. But they are not enchanted yet even. And... It just takes so much more time than if you do trading. So in my opinion, it's really good to trade with villagers and create a farm for emeralds. You can even buy food from them if you wanted to. Like villagers are so great. Like make sure to create some sort of business in your main world. And that way you can have infinite diamond weapons and diamond armor like me. Look, I'm shining. And yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more content. And please also don't forget to like this video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss on any new video. And now you guys have learned how to become millionaires in Minecraft. And it's time to make some emeralds now. And I wish everyone a wonderful day. Please stay all safe and healthy. Until next time.